Hi guys, this is just um, a follow-up video for the classes which just shows how I prepare my bird for drying um, so we didn't really have time for this in during the classes but I'm just going to show you what I do so for your next bird you'll be able to do this um, the more that you progress the less need you should have for this process because your your skin should dry as it as it looked when you finish mounting your bird however sometimes we have issues <laughs> if you if it wasn't a very good specimen or you weren't happy with your form so in this case i was not happy with the form this wing i am not happy with in the slightest but hopefully a little bit of a bind up might um improve things a little bit so i use these euro pins i think these are from jht um I can't remember exactly, but um, they're easy to find online. Uh, these are extra long Euro pins, and I'll just put these in a few places along the bird, making sure that I'm not that I'm um, being careful not to disturb the feathers too much, and that will just press into your form. And we're going to use these to anchor the thread down. This is also from JHT. Um, but any any sort of heavy duty cotton thread is fine. And I tend to do maybe one in the chest. So if you're, uh, when you're mounting, if you're not confident on the face shape, you can always use tiny pins. I use these um, entomology pins that are super fine um, and you can pin the eyes. I wouldn't use anything bigger than this for eyes or on mammals around the mouth because it will leave a hole and that will look quite unsightly. So once you've got your pins in place, you can do the bind up. I tend to just tie it off onto one of the pins like this. and then you're just using the weight of the cotton to weigh down the feathers that are in a problem area. You don't need to bind the entire bird unless you're not happy with the entire bird. Um, so I'm not pulling this tight. I'm just using its weight, really, to to weigh down those problematic feathers. See, um, that wing is actually sticking out a bit further than I want it to, and that's because the form um, wasn't trimmed down as I would usually trim it down. So what I'm going to do there. Is I'm actually going to pin through the wing. So, just cleaning the rubbish off my pin. This is quite difficult to aim so that you're not damaging your feathers, but if you're careful, you should be able to. Whoop, should be able to find a space. Yeah. And now I'm going to press going to very carefully hold my bird on one side and press that wing into the form. Okay. That's looking a little bit more how I would like it to. A little bit more streamlined. And then you can use that pin as well to Continue binding. I mean, really, I should have done that before I started the binding, but it's fine. Okay, that's just about it. Um, so then I'll leave this crow for two weeks to dry. I'll actually inject the feet with um, with some bird foot injection fluid which is I think basically just glycerin and 
um, resin which you pump into the toes and then it stops the toes from shrinking down too much. You can also do that with formalin, um, although I wouldn't recommend that. Um, you can buy that at JHT and it's not necessary but it does improve the overall look of your dried bird. Thanks for watching.